Hello everybody and welcome to the neutrino weather for July 21st until the 28th. So let's have a look. This week I would love to put my attention both in my reflection through the neutrino weather as well as through the celebrity that we'll be discussing this week, which isn't just anybody. <laughs> We would like. I would like to put some attention on the channel of the wavelength, a design of talent. <clears throat> this is obviously, from my perspective, is probably one of the most interesting um, human energetic wiring to pay attention to, because it goes far beyond just displaying the energy for repetition and identification with depth and, um, and, and skills that ultimately allows us to display talent. And talent obviously can just be anything. I mean, driving a car, baking an omelet, you know, they're all things that we repeat, 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 and we get to more and more and more depth about them. And the more we do them, the more the more streamlined that we put, we make the action. The more we put the action into a certain wavelength that is in resonance with life or not. And so we're going to see this channel of the wavelength being present the whole week. And now, obviously... The first thing is like, okay, it comes together with frequencies that have to do with the vessel of love, especially with the sun in the 15th gate. So there is a global weather taking place that says, please let's align with life affirming consciousness, affirming frequencies at service of the integrity and the respect for life and the consciousness that it houses. That is clearly there. Next, we see that it moves into the cross of prevention. Again, what can we do with that loving stance in life? We can prevent with that loving stance in life by accentuating the necessity to get ourselves into a wavelength that is in line with love and the acceptance of all expressions of frequency on this earth. And then it moves into the cross of service. So again, how to be of service to life by aligning deeper and deeper and deeper to <clears throat> our own pattern in life. So... I will be looking, obviously, at um, later on at Meryl Streep, who is somebody that, you know, she 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 carries the channel of talent, and she's been consistently there, growing in the fine tuning of her art. But one of the most important aspects of this um, channel. And something to pay attention to because it is still there until somewhere 20th of June in the no July in the nodes. This 48 gate and this 48 gate says, No, oh, I'll have to take my itching because it doesn't, doesn't show it there. The 48 gate says the necessary and qualitative foundation that is a prerequisite to establish the common good. So the necessary foundation is obviously got to do with you know, scientific aspects, things that are there in the logic of life, things we need to take care of. For example, if we find out in the 18th gate that certain bacteria are not in resonance with our system, we need to put into place the necessary foundation in order to deal with it. At the same time, there's also a qualitative foundation into the 48th gate. That's why Ra called it the gate of black magic. There sits magic in the 48 gate. And the magic is obviously always pointing to our potential for awareness. So within these forms, within these 
necessary housings, there sits consciousness. And it is all about learning to put that consciousness and that awareness into a streamlined um, flow in some way or another, so that it, that basically we come closer and closer and finer and finer in resonance with the love that life is. Now, so human design is an experiment. It is an experiment that has to do with learning to fine-tune our energetic pattern. And for most of our lives, we gave up the authority of this energetic pattern to outer authorities. So obviously, from my perspective, from the 12, 20 years that I've been involved in human design, human design goes together with a therapeutic process. That's an obvious to me. I mean, getting rid of, author of, of, of spaces in our psyche that we gave authority to, they're obviously related to the defenses that we put in place in life. So, you know, my perspective and the perspective that was obviously also supported in the early teachings of human design, the 5818 and the 4816, that stream of tastes has an enormous amount to do with psychology with learning to come closer and closer and closer to our pattern in life, to the solutions that lay in our awareness so that you know we can streamline living according to our authority. And the more we're able to do that, the more respectful we become towards life. Now, one of the things to understand is that this left side of the body graph, you know, the side that has to do with the spleen, and the left side of the ajna is a stance that turned us into a, that that basically set down a positioning in life that says we're going to have the upper hand in life we're going to be stronger than life we're going to dominate life we're going to be on top of the hierarchy in some way or another ra was always insisting through the 17th gate there are there is no end to hierarchies we are definitely not in this huge universe the end of the hierarchy come on and i think nowadays with whatever is going on on a global level and this is a collective channel it is highly time that we stand up for life affirming values for human rights for respect for each other for dialogue for communication those things are there and there is twice this week and a lot of emphasis, not only in the beginning of the week, but later also through the sun in the, in, the, in the 52nd gate, there is this emphasis on becoming still, on focusing, on, 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 on self-imposing inaction. You know? So this is in some way or another, for me at least, like, come on, let's try to see that one of the most incredible things about life is the fact that these forms house the potential for awareness and that there is no end in this awareness game that it can always be more and more and more and more and finer and finer and finer and finally tuned tuned a beautiful example of that is obviously it was the life of osho i mean till the end there was so much emphasis on love and non-violence huh? to being in resonance with life and being in that wavelength is a wavelength of non-violence so you know it's a frequency that is out there there's frequencies this week that have to do with stirring up the human spirit come on and jupiter is in the 16th gate so jupiter brings us this capacity to identify with something higher, with something that is of a of a dimension that is like, come on, you know, these forms, they house something that is beyond our egoic minds. And so, yeah, we have to learn to stand up for the integrity of our own awareness, the nodes in the 21st gate, you know, learning to stand up for one's own integrity in that sense, for one's needs, for taking care of this thing being a housing of such a marvelous potential. So my week 
my week's reflection goes to this channel 48 16. now obviously you have to take into account that it brings about a voice that says i approve i identify i'm enthusiastic or i disapprove and i'm in some way or another dismissive and disapproving of this kind of whatever we see out there no so use this voice correctly use this voice wisely in some way or another you know approve of what is life affirming have enthusiasm for what is life affirming and for, you know, learning to fine tune with enthusiasm that pattern and turn your attention away from those things that are not okay? so i wish you all a great week i hope you really take um profit and benefit from this weather and um, i'll see you next week bye